in this medium sized video we will learn to use some layer routings to deal with cameras so that you can use your best creative studio time ahead of reaching the venue and then plug in the cameras after reaching the venue and then nail the gig. We will be dealing with cameras for this tutorial but trust me you can apply this same trick for trizillion of other creative things. We will continue building this project on top of our previous video. If you haven't checked that yet, check it here. Let's say for this example we will use two camera feeds. So we are going to add two camera feeds on top of. So we are going to add bunch of new layers. Let's use the down bottom layers for cameras. These two layers are going to be our cameras. So let's say uh, let's this drag this clip to somewhere else. Let's rename this layer to cam2. This one to cam1. Maybe put them in on a group. So we rename the group as cam all. Let's put this group in blackout so that it does not hurt our composition. So we, we're gonna get some good pictures of our very favorite David Guetta. A mid shot as camera one and a closer perspective shot as camera two. We're gonna fire them but we're not seeing them in the in the monitor because we have put them in blackout. So let's add some layers to start the composition. How about we have one layer here. How about we have, oh no, we have three layers here. Cool. Let's start with adding a source called video router. Let's change the parameters of this input to camera one. Let's uncheck input bypass so that it doesn't matter if it's bypass or not this layer is gonna be showing this layer so now our feature is done let's collapse this so we're gonna call this cam1 we're gonna copy it and paste it we're gonna call this one to cam2 and we're gonna change the input source to cam2 of this layer means the close-up one so this one is now the close-up one so we are switching between our cameras using video routers so to start working in a nice weather environment we are gonna change our thumbnail you can call it designers OCD but this helps so after getting thumbnail we have our camera one let's drag our camera two to a different layer so that we can we can go cross blend between them remember I told you that we can put anything in the layer so how about just what I can do is I can just put up my camera I can just put the camera and check my hairstyle while I'm working speaking of designers OCD let's see how much we can push this to get our working place very comfortable while we are designing shows let's say we have a YouTube capture of David Guetta performing somewhere like this and we have a close shot of David Guetta we have cut a YouTube video and made it a loop now we can use these video, video la layers so at this point let's start so let's say we have these cameras ready and now we know how these are working so let's play a background layer somewhere. These are resolute videos. So we in this layer we have put a mask in a circle. So this is like this. And this one also has the same mask. So you can crisscross mix match. Just between two clips while having a background layer rolling so here's another idea let's say we have a background rolling remember our slams in your hand tutorial so we have done the same slamming technique here with our MIDI controller 
so we can slam this fizz so so we can go like or something like that check out our previous video to understand how we work these slices to our slams and we worked on the duration in this video we have used the same technique to slam as the camera feeds here so this one is a camera slice transform chase we have made let me explain how we made this so in this first one we have put an envelope to opacity so one fourth of the time this stays on rest three fourth of the time it stays 100% the second one is little offset like this third one is little offset like this and the fourth one is little offset like this so it goes one two three four so individual slices are masked with individual layers so this is a slice transform chess within resolume itself we have made the same thing with camera 2 on top of that but we're going to trigger it in offset like that so if we have some visuals going on and a slice trans transform camera rotation going on we're done for the night talking about pushing the limit let's take a look on our recent project that we're working on so these are our layers that are supposed to be camera these are the footages we chopped of the band members from a music video haha -ha. let's log the group let's take a look on how we can apply this trick through layer routing so here we go this is our vocal this is another application so the whole group of so the whole group is vocals This one is a mix match. Let me turn off the background for a while. So these are trackers. So these are advanced layer routers with mask. That's another arrangement. And that's another arrangement. If you have watched this video until this part, that means you are a visual enthusiast like us. Subscribe our community for lesson, workshop and idea jamming sessions coming up.